family is so important to me because it reminds me so much of my roots, you know, um, especially my family coming from Cameroon. Um, knowing the hardships that they come from, the sacrifices that they've made to be here for me to have a better opportunity, I just feel like I, I can't let them down because I know where I could be right now. And I know I could be back in Cameroon in the village with no opportunity, with possibly not going to school. Like, I know I could really be there. You know, some people say like, oh, you know, there's so many places in the world you could be, you should be thankful for like, like I know there truly is somewhere else in the world I could be. And I know it's a thousand times worse than where I'm at right now. So there's not gonna ever gonna be a day, a day where I wake up and I'm not appreciative. I'm not grateful for the opportunity that I have. And that's why I'm able to attack every single day the way, the way that I am. All right, so why did you decide to go into broadcasting and production? Like where did that, where did that stem from? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. I, I don't think it was like any just one day decision type of deal. I, I would say one day that really influenced me wanting to get into broadcasting. Um, it was my junior year of college and you guys know college signing day. Um, basically we had a signing day show where, uh, our Penn state, like our, our host, like, a our reporter for, for Penn state that worked for the team, she had approached me and asked me if I wanted to co-host a show with her online and basically kind of preview the guys that we had signed, you know, who's going to be an instant impact player, who's going to help the team, that kind of deal. We brought on some coaches, a couple of the early enrollee, uh, players who were already on campus to the interview. We, we did a live studio and everything. It was my first, really first gig, first anything. And uh, I did really well. And after she had approached me and she was like, I don't know what you're doing. I know you're, you know, you're in school for econ and, you know, you want to go work on Wall Street, but this is probably what you should be doing with your life. And nobody had ever said that to me before. Um, so I was kind of just like, dang, like, was it really that good? You know, let me, let me put some effort into this. Let me see where this takes me. So I ended up doing broadcasting boot camp when I got to the NFL and having more opportunities and it just started to flourish. And I was like, all right. I'm a natural at this. I feel like I can, I can do this. Let me see where it takes me. So that's kind of where it started. And why music? Like, what's your relationship like with music? Ooh, music. That's like me and music. <laughs> uh, I just, I don't know. I, for me, I feel like music has always influenced me so much. Has gotten me through so many things. Has um, really just helped me a lot. I have a lot of artists who have influenced me. Um, Music's like my heartbeat, I swear. I hear music on, like, I'm going. I hear music on, I'm whistling, I'm singing, I'm rapping, I'm dancing. Like, that's just, I love music. Love it. Why did I decide to take on golf? Um, honestly, my mom tried to get me to play golf for a long time. And I'm really, really mad at myself because she always used to try to take me to the range and take me to the course. And I, back then, I only played football and basketball. And like, I was too cool. And if I did play back then, I'd be a lot better right now than I, than I am now. But, um, you know, my, my, my friends started to play um, and I kind of got clubs probably like three months ago. And, and ever since the itch has been real. Let's just let's just say that I get on the course by twice a week nowadays. So uh, why real estate? Um, I would say probably because I've just seen so many people do it and, and be successful in it, whether it's flipping houses, whether it's Airbnb houses. Um, there's just a lot that you can do there. Um, and. Also, I just think it's, I like the idea of having a bit of a project, you know what I mean? It kind of like something that I can pour my heart and soul into that's also going to make me money, but it's just different. It's not football. It's not broadcasting. It's, it's different. So I'm trying to just expand my, my repertoire, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think it's really dope, like being an athlete, but also being on the broadcasting side and being on the media side. Um, I think for me, I'm in a very unique position because a lot of people, especially guys who are NFL athletes, NBA athletes, just professional athletes in general, they wait until the end of their careers to kind of start, okay, what's next? What's plan B? Okay, I want, I want to do broadcasting. Let me go into this. And it's not to like year eight, year nine that they kind of start to put in that work. Whereas me, I want to be in a unique position where I can be sitting in the studio and talking about these games, but at the same time, I'm going back to the facility and I'm sitting in these seats and I'm preparing for that game. And I'm preparing for the players that I'm talking about. And I've watched this film. So, like, there's a, there's another level that I think I bring to it that a lot of people don't. Because most guys are either retired, aren't playing anymore, or, you know, this was just their interest is what they went to school for and this is what they do. Whereas me, I am playing, so I have the ultra perspective of being in every meeting, in every room, and at the same time, I'm in the broadcasting booth. So, I just think there's not really anybody really doing that in the way that I'm trying to. So.